How's it going? Today we have the brand new Broadway Limited Paragon 4 Santa Fe 282 Mikado. I will also be comparing a Paragon 3 Santa Fe 484 Northern to see the great progress Broadway Limited is making with their models. The box is protected by a plastic sheet and is long and narrow and the same colors as Paragon 3. However, it does have the new Paragon 4 Rolling Thunder logo. This model will run on both DC and DCC power and it comes equipped with sound. Inside, the first thing we see is going to be the owner's manual, as well as the illustrated parts breakdown and the functions list. This will help anybody in needs of opening up the locomotive or tender. The model also does come with a one year limited warranty. One of the more important parts in the operator's manual is a CV list. This helps us program anything we want. Also a little bit of troubleshooting knowledge. I do appreciate this box design because the engine and tender do stay together. Removing the first layer of foam, we see the model is perfectly protected in a plastic cradle, also surrounded by foam. I recommend placing the model on a flat surface to remove the plastic cradle. This is very thick plastic and can tip the model in an unwanted direction, if not flat. Sliding the plastic sleeve off, there is the smoke fluid funnel on the end. At the other side, there is an extra rubber traction tire and a hex screwdriver to remove the rods if needed. I recommend marking these side pieces with a sharpie just like shown on the right side of the screen because they can be very difficult to decipher which side goes where. A high quality plastic sheet protects the model from damage and removing the model is very simple. Let's put it on the track and talk about the history and key features of this locomotive. This is the switching pilot with spoked main driver's version. This model represents the 4000 class Mikado Santa Fe acquired in 1921, built by Baldwin. There were 60 locomotives in this class. Row numbers are 4000 to 4059. Broadway Limited also released some 4060 class Mikados that were built in 1924 by Baldwin, and 40 were built with the row numbers from 4060 to 4100. The 4060 class locomotives had small upgrades from the 4000 class, such as an increase in weight for better tractive effort. Other than that, the two classes are very similar. Narrowing down the options, Broadway Limited released four distinct versions, a road pilot, switching pilot, a disc main driver, and spoke main driver, all between the 4000 and 4060 class. All versions are oil burners. Santa Fe added large letters on their bigger engines starting in 1940. I cannot find any information on when these Mikados got their tender lettering, but it's safe to assume it's between the years of 1940 to 1947. I have both road and switcher pilot versions and I will be showing the differences. The road version has the same exact box and same documentation. Starting with the switcher version, we see the words keep off and footboards at the bottom of the pilot, whereas the road version does not have the words keep off and it has a road type pilot. On the tender, both versions have different lettering, however the switcher version is more closer together on the toolbox, whereas the road version is more on the outside. The switcher version on the tender has a rear light, the keep off words as seen in the front, and footboards, whereas the road version doesn't have any of those. Let's turn on track power to listen to the sounds and see her operate.
The cab light turns on when the track power is applied and turns off when the engine starts moving. The rear red light does turn on with F0 and is on going forward and reverse. This model does come equipped with Broadway Limited's Go Pack, which is essentially a current keeper. So in the event of any electrical disruption, the model will continue moving. I'll simulate this by lifting the model up with my hands. Notice how the wheels are still turning for about 3 seconds. So this engine should have no problems when it comes to dirty track. Let's take a look at the synchronized chuff. There is a switch underneath the cab to turn the smoke on and off. Let's compare the Mikado to a Paragon 3 Santa Fe Northern. I want to show the details, the sounds, and the differences between them. Here's the difference between the Paragon 3 Northern Fireman side and the Paragon 4. The Paragon 4 also has jewels in the marker lamps at the top. The Paragon 3 has nothing. And also the tips of the air hoses are painted silver on the Paragon 4. The numbers on the Paragon 4 are more sharp and way better looking than the Paragon 3's. Although these models are very impressive, I did a few tweaks to make it look better. I started by painting the cab interior which had excellent detail, however, they didn't have any color, so I painted with white and red. Now the cab light does justice to this beautiful interior. I also changed CV208 to 255 to keep the cab light always on when moving. I then painted the leading truck with steam power black, as well as the middle of the driving wheels black. I also installed a KD number 58 coupler for the front and the rear. I took my Mikados to my train club in Union, New Jersey, so I can, well, stare at them. Come here, big Joe. Come here, big Joe. While double heading, I was able to pull 50 plus cars on a 2.8% grade. With only one engine, I was able to pull 28 cars without slipping.
In conclusion, I want to say these models are extremely beautiful, however at my club I did experience an interesting issue with the Keep Alive system from Broadway Limited. I'm going to simulate this with my home layout. I put the engines on some Bachman rollers and I'm going to simulate a quote unquote electrical disconnection from the track by turning my layout off and then on. You will see the locomotive jolt very quickly, then stop, then continue at the set speed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture this at my club. It happened twice on the main line, and it's very frightening to hear 50 plus cars couple very fast, thinking that a coupler might have broken. However, no damage to the model or my cars were done. Both road and switcher versions do this. I tried to turn off the keep alive using CV12 equals zero, however, that had no effect. If anyone has any fix, please put that in the comment section. I'd love to learn, and if anybody has this model, I'm sure they'd love to learn as well. The second encounter I had was with my switcher version 4023 where the chuff stopped chuffing. You can blow the whistle and ring the bell, however there was no sound otherwise. Simply taking the model off and putting it back on after 30 seconds did fix the issue. However, multiple engines at that day did have multiple problems that were not seen before, so I cannot tell if it was the layout or my engine. If anyone else has this issue and knows a fix, please let me know in the comments. With both issues aside, I still recommend these models. I think they look fantastic for any Santa Fe modeler in the transition era. Thank you very much for watching my review video on the Santa Fe Mikados. If you have any feedback, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, see you then.